Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Friday, Friday, May 24th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So today is ruled by Venusian energy because uh, Friday is associated with Venusian energy. And the day is the 24th. The number two is deals with unity. The number four deals with stability. The number two plus four adds up to number six. The number six is with community, relationships, connections. And the energies in the day adding up and reducing to number one vibration. The number one is ruled by the sun. So when I look at today's energy, um, there's something about it that feels like for some, it might be a start to a new connection, whether romantic or platonic uh, or a relationship moves to the next level. And the relationship could be a relationship with someone else or a relationship with yourself or a relationship with maybe something that you're passionate about, something that you're interested in, but something evolves to the next level where yesterday something sure did come to an end. So for some people, maybe there was a back and forth within a relationship dynamic. And then today, you know, you guys have come to a new agreement or realization within the connection. Things evolve to the next level. Or maybe, you know, with you, it was something about maybe a project, maybe a career path, maybe goals for yourself. And some aspect of it came to an end yesterday. But today, you find yourself feeling optimistic. You find yourself feeling curious. You find yourself just feeling the word fulfilled to a certain extent is coming to mind when it comes to the spirit animal. Because there's something about today, when I got to today's energy, something about it just feels good. Um, feels romantic to a certain extent, feels good. And it feels like a sudden thing, a sudden shift happened and something just feels good. We have the elephant energy that comes out, but the way the elephant came out, um, Whenever I think of elephant, I always think of memory and time. I don't know why I'm thinking about Saturn whenever I see the elephant energy. And I think about memory and time, but the way it came out, um, it's bringing me to the importance of not forgetting. When I say not forgetting, it means that um, learning from past experiences, learning from past experiences so you could make the ones in the present and the ones in the future better. Because if we don't learn from past experiences, then we experience this insanity cycle where things keep happening. Like I think of the person who has the same story of betrayal. There's a trail of betrayal that keeps happening with different people. And it's like the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. So it's easier to say that people are just bad, but instead, we all have a role in something. Well, that's what I tell myself. Like I have a role in something. How could I be the most powerful person that I know if I don't have a role in everything? So with the elephant energy coming out, it brings me to don't forget your role. Your role in the sense that, yeah, your role, how you choose to show up, what you allow to happen, what you don't allow to happen how you allow people to treat you, how you don't allow people to treat you, don't forget your role or don't forget past experiences because for the most part, everything repeats itself or rhymes 
pretty close. So it's either repeating or rhyming for the most part. So if, if it's repeating or rhyming, and I prefer to say rhyming than repeat, because rhyming for me might mean that you meet someone that reminds you of someone from your past and they're not the exact same, but they're similar. And for me, my intuition works that way where I might see someone, um, I might see someone in real life or even in my dream and the dream world would use people in my life or people from my past that help me to understand the dynamic of the person or to, yeah, to help me to understand the dynamic or the main spirit that is operating within that person in the moment because i feel like different spirits operate in different people at different times where for me spirits are like filters and based on our frequency like the temperature in the room different spirits can operate within us so a person might have a spirit similar to so and so i feel like it's the same spirit flowing through all all different kind of people where you know you think of they'll say oh this person has the spirit of i don't know if they've ever said a person had the spirit of laziness let's say the person has a spirit a, a lazy spirit or whatever and you might have a dream about someone you know who has that lazy spirit and you meet um yeah someone you know that has that lazy spirit but really the dream is helping you to understand someone you just met to let you know that this person might be a cool person but you don't want to do business with them because doing business with them will, um, you know, get you the similar results like what happened with so and so. So it's like, you know, learning how to maneuver or move around different people where it's like you could have fun with just about everyone if you know yourself and know how to move around different people where it's like, over time and based on past experiences, if we're learning from past experiences, we learn not to put people in the position to create certain experiences in our world, where when we don't learn from our experiences, we keep putting people in the position to influence our lives in ways that could be destructive. And then it's easier to say, I don't trust people, people are awful. But at the end of the day, you have the power. You get to choose the kind of roles that you allow people to play in your world. And a lot of the times we throw people into positions that they don't even earn, that they haven't even earned. So when it comes to today's energy, it brings me to learning from the past, learning from the past. Don't allow it to dictate your present, but learn from it. It has a lot of jewels within it. And when I say learn from the past, for me, learning from the past is me learn reflecting on how I showed up in certain dynamics that I felt at the moment wasn't good for me. So if I learn and pay attention to how I show up, then I'm learning to show up different now. Because the people that show up and participate in our movies with us. Like, so say the world is a stage where all actors were main characters. The people that show up and participate with us, like they're only there to help to us to see ourselves. It's like, you're the main character. So everyone and everything else is only to help to bring attention to you, the main character. So if you're the main character and that's the role of everyone else, Focus on the roles that you play, the roles that you've played and how those roles have benefited you or, you know, the opposite of that. When it comes to the tarot, we have the six of pentacles in the upright position. So the number six deals with community responsibility. The number six deals with the material realm. It deals with our identity and our legacy to a certain extent because that number six energy is where we aspire for different titles and accomplishments and things like that to kind of complete us to a certain extent. But the six of pentacles, pentacles deals with the earth realm, it deals with material things, um, tangible things, similar to the number six energy. So with the six of pentacles, it brings me to um, service. And as you could see in this card, this person is being of service to others. And for me, when it comes to life and the human experience, I feel like we're all here to be of service to each other. But in the process of being 
being in service to each other, we're really in service to ourselves. But when I say be in service to others, I don't mean burdening yourself, taking on things, um, taking on responsibilities that you don't have the ability to respond to. I think of a world, the perfect world in my imagination, where people are clear about what they have the ability to respond to. So they choose their responsibilities based on knowing themselves and knowing what they have the ability to respond to. So then that means whatever responsibility that one takes on, it's something that they do effortlessly, something that they enjoy, something that challenges them because it's using the best attributes of them, the, 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 the best things that they feel they have to offer in this life. So in the process of taking on that responsibility, a person feels fulfilled. In the process of taking on that responsibility, a person is creatively expressing themselves in their own unique way that compares to no one else because it's unique to them. And then it just so happens that other people benefit. You know, so for me, that's in a perfect world, but I feel like I know that's possible because that's my experience in the sense that me reading natal charts and doing this, sharing my thoughts with you guys about the energies in the day, something that if you check my Instagram from way back, I used to, you know, speak on things like that before I made videos on it. And even before Instagram and all of that, I would sit down and say, oh, the day adds up to this and this, that, and the next. And, you know, and, and then I'll text my friends and family and ask them little questions or even ask the people in the salon little questions and take mental notes based on my findings, observing the energies and what they're saying and connecting the dots. So it's like, that's something I have the ability to respond to. It's something that I love. So it's like in the process of me expressing myself, creatively expressing myself with something that I love, something that allows me to think. I like to think, I like to ask questions and I also like to share. I get responses where people are saying, thank you, this was helpful and it's like, okay, I'm being of service, but at the same time, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. And I know that's possible for everyone. But of course, we've been conditioned that, you know, that's not possible. And instead, you have to take a certain approach. You have to go about things in a certain way. And, it, and you know, most of us have to go about things in that way to see that it's not working and then rebel. And, you know, in order to be innovative, you have to rebel but we follow until we realize it's not working and then we rebel and we create a way for ourselves. But the six of pentacles energy brings me to being of service today. But with the elephant energy and the way it came out, it brings me to learning from past experiences. When I think of the six of pentacles paired up with the elephant energy and the way it came out, the elephant brings me to time and memory. The six of pentacles brings me to service. And with both those energies, like I said earlier, learn from past experiences. For me, past experiences when it comes to service taught me that it is important for me to allow for people to ask for help. I know some people will feel like, oh, I don't like to ask people for help or too proud or whatever. I've learned to allow people to ask for help because I've learned that sometimes your helping can hurt if someone didn't ask. I also learned that when people hint that they need help, but don't ask, your help can hurt because they truly haven't owned it because it hasn't come out because they haven't asked. So your help can hurt. This is where someone hints something, then you offer your opinion. And really, they weren't looking for a solution, but instead they were looking to be pacified. Instead, they were looking for validation words to you know comfort them in their situation even if someone standing on the outside knows that that's not what they need and some accountability is what's missing here some accountability is the only thing that will end this insanity cycle that a person is going through but when a person comes to the realization that they need help and they're able to ask for help something has shift within themselves and then for me i always say that you should never put a person on the ladder but instead if you see them climbing 
and they appear to be struggling, then you go and you assist them because they're already climbing. It's one thing to see potential in a person and then want to push them on a ladder and, you know, carry the weight of them only for them to resent you because you pushing them on that ladder is you saying to them that they're not enough. They're not good enough. Where if they're already climbing, they've already made up their mind that they want to go in that direction. So you assisting them on the path is different than forcing something on them that you see for them that they don't see for themselves. And then I also think about the situation where the person might ask for help and they always ask for help, but they never apply the help. That's the person that is always asking for advice or appear to be asking for advice, but they never apply any of it. That's where you learn from past experiences and learn to keep your energy to yourself. Learn to keep your inner chi to yourself. That's why I always say people who whose self-worth comes from helping will benefit by finding themselves in a career where people pay for their services, where, where they get paid to help. And the reason why I say get paid to help because since beauty school, my teacher taught me that no one appreciates nothing for free. And through the years that has been confirmed, through the years that has been confirmed, because whenever something is given for free, a lot of the times we question the worth of it because it it was for free. You know, so that's like in a relationship or a connection where a person just it's like they don't even know you and they give you all access to themselves and you question the worth of them because there were there were no boundaries. So when I say in a career where people get paid to help. People need to pay to pay attention. People need to pay to pay attention. So that's why I say that. So when it comes to today's energies, the moon is still in Sag, but it's being squared by Saturn in Pisces. And the square that's being made to the moon by Saturn in Pisces brings me to something about patience, something about impatience. Maybe we wanna, we wanna hurry up and get to the next level with something. And that might be a problem because skipping steps can cause you to end up having to lose lose what you're investing in because you've skipped steps where maybe if you take the time and focus on each point each part of a thing where skipping steps steps to me could be could mean um you're interviewing someone for a position and you skip steps because um, when you are speaking to them, they remind you of your great aunt Susie and she's so sweet. So you automatically hire them and didn't even do a background check where come to find out that, you know, come to find out this person has a history of doing X, Y, Z, and then X, Y, Z was done to you. And then boom, your business is out of business because you skip steps. So when it comes to the energies in today, ask yourself, how are you skipping steps? It's just like the person meets someone and you meet someone, you really like them, romantic or platonic. They're saying all the right things, but even more than saying all the right things, they look the part because we're visual people and we've been conditioned to, you know, have these images of how our life should look. So when someone show up and look like how something is supposed to look, it, it, it's inspiring. We get to project the ideal movie on them. So someone shows up and they look the part. And because they look the part, you skip steps and you jump from saying hello to them moving in only to find yourself in a situation with a squatter. Don't skip steps. Don't skip steps. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. 
The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology nail chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.